Hi, my name is Todd Poor, and in this video we are going to be working on an eight finger tap arpeggio pattern. Uh, a few weeks ago I posted an Instagram video of what I'm about to show you guys and it seemed to get a lot of uh, positive comments, got a lot of hits right off the bat. Um, so I thought I would uh, do a quick YouTube demo on what I was playing. So uh, we're tapping through three different arpeggios, uh, G minor, an A flat major, and a D7, um, an inverted D7 in this case. Uh, so the first one, G minor, now the notes to a G minor arpeggio are G, B flat, and D. So the left hand is going to start it off, uh, two notes on the sixth string, G, B flat, so that was on the sixth string, three, six, and then your ring finger is going to tap five on the fifth string, there's D. Um, so then the right hand is just going to copy that shape up an octave, same fingers, same notes, just one octave up. That would be starting on fret 10 of the fifth string, little finger taps 13, ring finger taps 12. Okay, so then the left hand shifts up, and we're going to use that shape one more time. Starting at fret 8, string 2, fret 11, string 2, fret 10, string 1. Right hand then comes up to G at fret 15, and then pinky taps um, fret 18 on string 1. Uh, so the rhythm we're playing when we do this, uh, it'll be straight eighth note triplets. Um, the pattern is two measures long. So in order to get two measures of straight triplets um, with the notes I just showed you, we're going to play all the way up, come all the way back down, and then we start ascending through it again. Uh, but the pattern is actually going to stop with the first right hand note that we tap, so that's the, the G note at fret 10 on the 5th string. Uh, so I'll just run through that whole arpeggio for you now, nice and slow, and you can give it a try. So here it is. The next chord or arpeggio we are tapping through is uh, the A flat major. Um, so this one works pretty similar to the minor arpeggio shape where the uh, left and right hands are just going to be playing basically the same shapes. Uh, starting off on the sixth string, one note, that's A flat fret four. Left hand is going to tap two notes on the fifth string, three, six, so C, E flat. Right hand copies that shape up an octave, starting at fret 11 on the fifth string, 10 on the fourth string, 13 on the fourth string. Left hand shifts up, string two, nine, string one, eight, 11. Right hand, 16, 20, and that's it. Okay, so those are all the notes. Uh, we're going to again play up that, come back down, and then back up until we tap the first right hand note. Uh, so that's going to start down here on fret 2 of the 6th string, 
Um, so we're going to actually have four notes on this string. The left hand's going to tap two, the right hand's going to tap two. So that was two, five, right hand comes in, eight. triplets. We're just going to play straight up, straight back down, um, and then the first note that you tap on the sixth string on the way back down is actually the end of the pattern, so we'll just repeat from there. Uh, so here is that one all the way through, nice and slow. G minor, and that's the whole progression. Here it is.